Hi. All right, I talked to you a little bit about light bulbs. Joel Gross is my uh, guest. He is with Sunlight Lighting, and uh, Joel taught me a lot today. And uh, we hope to impart some of that knowledge to you because I think many of us are a little bit confused. And we can maybe jump over things. I, uh, You know, we've all went through the incandescent change. Most of us have went to the compact fluorescent lights. And as I've been preaching probably for the last three years, the future, I think, Joel, is going to be the LED lighting. You agree? That is correct. Uh, it's slowly shifting over as we're seeing the improvements from uh, the lumens per watt. And it's improving where the consumer sees the difference that the light is actually there. They're going to keep on grabbing it up. Mm -hmm. And it will slowly phase out, especially the incandescent and the fluorescent as well. And the reason for that is, is although the fluorescent is energy saver, nevertheless, fluorescent on paint color is not as accurate as you have the LEDs. Therefore, the LEDs is more accurate. There are same some paint colors that the CFL bulbs just make plain ugly. That's correct. <laughs> I mean, you okay, good. I'm, my wife's not the only person that says that, then that's good to know. I, I mean, they do. LED lighting, good LED lighting, and of we're going to get to that, makes colors pop. That's true. It, it is true. But we got to, but, but buying an LED bulb, if you really know what's going on, because it can be a complicated subject, can it? You shouldn't just buy LED bulbs. There are different grades of LED bulbs. The consumer typically that walks into a store, the way I saw it in the big box stores, they mm -hmm. typically look at the price without noticing to compare apples to apples. Therefore, when they come home and they're excited about their LED bulbs, they feel like they were gypped into something because it doesn't give out the light that they had previously, either with fluorescent or incandescence. And uh, a key factor in that is to know what you're buying, okay. to replace apples for apples. For example, if you're using a 60-watt... Let's use a 60-watt bulb as an example. I unscrew that out of the lamp, and I go and I look for LED bulbs, and it doesn't say 60-watt anywhere. You're gonna, your key factor over there, number one factor, is the lumens. The lumen output would calculate the light output of an incandescent or a halogen or an HID. So we're going to buy light bulbs not based on wattage anymore. We're going to buy base them on lumens. That's correct. So what's a 60 old-fashioned 60-watt light bulb? What kind of lumens was that using? It d depends on the or manufacturer, produce. but to be on the safe side, I would say approximately 800 lumens would replace a full 60-watt light bulb. How do we get all that information? Every light emits something that's called lumens that's right. how you measure the light out yeah but what's a 75 watt light bulb how many lumens does that do how do i get that information is what i'm saying uh, if i unscrew a 75 watt light bulb how do i know what lumen to buy the m most simple way to do that would be go to our website we okay. have all the information there www.sunlight s-u-n-l-i-t-e.com all right we got a break hold hold that thought we'll continue at home with gary sullivan all right, 33 minutes after the top of the hour, you're at home with Gary Sullivan, continuing our show from the National Hardware Show. My guest is Joel Gross. He is with Sunlight Lighting. And, Joel, we were just talking about um, LED lighting. And, you know, the, the old way we bought light bulbs was 60 watts, 75 watt. Now we're focusing on lumens. And, and that's the candle power? Is that a good way that to say That is the it? output of that, the bulb. That okay. means the light that the bulb emits would okay. be lumens. Uh, every light is measured by the lumen output. Although your typical 75A was called 75A, and people memorize that that's enough, let's say, for a room to emit right. light for 75 watts. It's so the actuality change. is it uses 75 watts of electricity, but it takes approximately 800 lumens or 900 lumens, depending on the manufacturer. Okay. So instead of looking at wattage, you have to look at the lumen output. I want to replace 100 watts. You're looking at somewhat over 1,100 lumens. You want to stick to a 60 watt, which is the most common, which is replaced by the 13 watt CFLs. You're going to be focusing a somewhat around 800 lumens. And you kind of, it's not a conversion chart, but you've got a guide sheet for us. Yes, you can definitely check it out on our website, which will... You can look up the bulb that you currently have okay. and see how many lumens approximately it is and figure out what light bulb you have. And that's sunlight.com. The other thing we got to talk about is the color of the light. I had some lady call the show and say, I don't want any LED light bulb that's blue like the car headlights. How do I know I'm not going to get that? There's a thing, a very important component within the light fact, which it's called Kelvins, K-E-L-V-I-N-S, or Kelvin without the floral. Mm -hmm. 
Calvin has measured your typical halogen bulb, which is the most accurate with CRI, which I'll get to later, is, uh, is around 2,800 Kelvins. Okay. So if you want a warm atmosphere in your house, you should be looking something between 2,700 Kelvins and 30,000 Kelvins okay. in order to have accommodate that warm look. You said there was another measurement we did. There is measure. something called a color rendering index, which is not so important to the end user, but it's good to know. Mm -hmm. The higher you go with CRI, the more accurate the color is towards the sun. CRI stands for color rendering index. Mm -hmm. 100 is closest to natural light. When you go down that chart towards 80, 70, 60, you're moving away from that natural light. Your typical LED bulb will run into approximately 80 to 82 CRIs with new government requirements that will go up. But the main focus of the consumer right now should be to be within okay. the 80, 85 CRI. Got one quick more question, sure. and I got to get you on your way. Uh, and I know there's so much to talk about. Can I just buy one that says warm white? <laughs> no, you cannot trust a label without seeing the facts. And okay. as a matter of a fact, most of the light bulbs require now to have like the nutrition facts. Okay. which uh, specifies the specifications of the bulb. And it's important to read that before you buy it. A typical bulb used to be $0.60, cents, $0.80, and right. you weren't committed to it. You were able to throw right. it out. Your LED, you're committing to it for a long time, right. so know what you're buying. How long do they last? A good the, one. Pe uh, good one should last you if used regularly, which, of course, is requirements, uh, should last you between 30,000 to 50,000 hours. All right. Joel, thank you. You're welcome. You shed a little light on it. Thank I appreciate it. Bad that. joke, Gary. They'll hook me. <laughs> All right, very good. That website, sunlightlite.com, and uh, I do appreciate it. I know there's a lot of information we tried to dispense there, but Joel did a great job.